More efforts are going towards preventing veteran suicide. And according to the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, the suicide rate here in Missouri is one of the highest in the entire country. Reagan DeTrolio talked with multiple local veterans organizations. She joins us live now at one of them in Springfield. Reagan. Francis, I talked with veterans here at this VFW post that say there should have been more aid to veterans in crisis long ago, but they're happy it's getting attention now. Death that can be prevented is one too many. Veterans say this VFW post in Springfield is a safe haven. We've had people come in, uh, husbands commit have committed suicide, and it's transitional. They can't readjust from military life back to civilian. And we had one case of that, and we had another veteran come in, just needed someone to talk to. U.S. Navy veteran Al Wagner has seen the need firsthand. They get down and, and nobody to turn to, then the only thing they look at is, why am I here? And they need somebody to talk to, to help them. Other vets like Dub White with the Veterans and Military Coalition of the Ozarks says the same. We read it all the time about it, the veterans, number of veterans that are committing suicide. And it doesn't make any difference whether they're 90 or whether they're uh, 30. It happens. Governor Mike Parson recently signed a bill into law to help lower the suicide rate here in the state. The legislation will give the Missouri Veterans Commission more funds to work on finding the main causes for this high rate, as well as allow the group to conduct research and figure out more effective treatment options for struggling veterans. We sit here with people all the time, and it gives us a nice feeling that we're talking to somebody off that ledge. Uh, we've had guys in here before, been off their meds and stuff. We've helped them, got them straightened out, and got them back into uh, life. And one of them, he was, he's a life member here. Uh, he accred credits the post for saving his life. This post even holds a monthly support group called Give Vets Hope that mental health professionals accompany. Veterans sit around, we just talk. We have a talk stick. You don't get to talk until you have the stick. And it does a lot of good. And soon the whole state will have more mental health support for all our veterans. Know your neighbor. He was a veteran. Get to know him. If you'd like to learn more about that support group, Give Vets Hope, we have that information at this story on our website. But for now, live in Springfield, I'm Reagan DeTrolio, KY3 News. Thanks so much, Reagan.